CataractCoach.com, Cataract Quiz. What happened to this ACIOL? Look very carefully at this picture. Obviously, the lens is dislocated, but why? Well, you can see here that one of the haptics of this lens is stuck in that peripheral iridotomy. But there's more to the story than that. I mean, you can free this up and rotate this lens. And our surgeon here, who didn't do the original surgery, has been referred to the surgeon to fix it. It's going to rotate the lens and get that trapped haptic free. And you know what? You can then have a nice result, right? I mean, look carefully, though. And remember, these AC lenses kind of have a springiness to them. And so you have to do like you're seeing in the video here, kind of walk the lens back and forth. This is the great technique. This works really well. Pull it, compress the haptic a little bit, and walk it around. And then you can get it away from that peripheral erdotomy. And you're pretty good. Are, are you done now? Have you noticed the other glaring problem? What is the big glaring problem here? Come on, let's look. It's the S. S is for stupid. The lens is upside down. Remember this? I had a video way back when, which is the correct orientation, A or B? Come on, go, go, go. What's the answer? You don't know? You don't know? Let me tell you. It's the left one. The Z is correct. The S is not good. You have to look at the haptic optic junction. So again, look at this old video, video number 1178. Look at that old video. You see that lens sitting there on top of the cornea? Is that the correct orientation? Yes, it is. Now look at the side profile. The lens is vaulted. AC eyewalls are vaulted to float above the pupil. You can't put it in upside down, it's not good. So our surgeon here is gonna do something amazing. And that is flip this lens upside down in the eye. This is not easy. Because this is a PMA lens, polymethyl methacrylate, the optic is at least five millimeters, maybe even five and a half or six. To get it flipping over and not scrape the endothelium, not an easy thing. In fact, there's no infusion cannula in the eye even. This is miraculous almost. Look at that, the half the lens is going down into the pupil. Wow, what a beautiful job. To be frank, I don't know if I could have done that as well as you. That is fantastic. Uh, by the way, don't let this lens fall back in the vitreous cavity. And now bring this lens up. Fantastic job. Our guest surgeon has saved the day. Now take your time, straighten it out, get the lens where it needs to be. Now you can say, well, I, AC lenses are not as good as the Yamane or sclerofixated or belt loop or, you know what? In meta-analyses that have been done and published, there's really almost no difference and putting an AC lens in that's in the correct way, not upside down, and is appropriately positioned in the eye compared to a scleral fixated IOL. Now, if you're not in the USA and you have access to the iris clip, um, a phagic lens that you can clip to the back side of the iris, well, those are amazing. Those are great. But we don't have those in the USA, and I'm not going to get into the reason why. But look at this. Now, that's the correct orientation. Look, it's the anti-S. It's the Z-shape. Look at the haptic-optic junction. And while you're there, remember about our Cataract Coach podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. You know you love it. It's everywhere you find podcasts. The sole purpose is to make you a more successful ophthalmologist. An hour a week, you can listen. While you drive, while you work out, check it out. Now, back to our case here. Again, certain doing a beautiful job of kind of walking this lens, compressing the haptic to give a little more room, and then walking it around. Remember, these are angle-supported lenses. AC IOLs are angle-supported lenses. Now you're saying, wait a minute, how do you calculate the sizing? Because remember, AC lenses come in different physical sizes, not just dioptric powers, physical sizes. Why do you calculate? Well, you know, if you go to cataractcoach.com and you actually use the search engine there, yeah, leave YouTube for a minute, you'll find a video that explains you exactly how to size it. Basically, you measure the white to white and you add a half a millimeter. And that's what you want to do. And typically, these lenses are placed in the horizontal meridian. Now, what about the lens power calculation? Well, my senior resident, my buddy told me to subtract three. No, 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 no. It's just a relationship one-to-one -one with the A constant. So if your regular lens is an A constant of 118.2 and your ACIOL is an A constant of, of 115.2, well, you just subtract three because that's the delta or difference in the A constants. 
If your eight constant is 119.2 for regular lens, and you're putting the AC lens at 115.2 eight constant, what's well, a delta four? You'd subtract four from the eye hole power. You know, all explained on prior Cataract Coach videos. So hopefully you got this quiz right, and you know the difference between upside down or the right way. And remember, that podcast, you can find it everywhere. And the Cataract Coach website, you better check it out. Such good stuff.